Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance once said that he wanted Americans to pay more for things in order to fight against the woke. The wokers. This was during an interview with Breitbart News back in June of 2021. Now, in it, he went after big tech, saying that Facebook, Google, Twitter, and YouTube should be uh, curing cancer instead of engaging customers on devices. But wait a hold on a minute. They're tech companies, not cancer research firms. In fact, the biggest entities that are engaged in cancer research are not private firms at all. They're actually public universities, you know, and, and private universities as well. You've got Harvard, MIT, Stanford, UC Berkeley, uh, among many others, right? I do cancer research, but okay. Now, uh, when he was asked uh, by the interviewer how he was going to convince others that the government needs to target private tech companies, whom remember, the reason that uh, conservatives hate big tech right now is not because of monopolies. It's not because of bad business practices. No, it's because they believe that uh, these companies are silencing conservatives, which is not true. <laughs> Okay, uh, unless you're talking about how uh, advertisers don't want their, you know, products to be featured next to Hitler Lover 1488 on, on social media. Okay, sure. Or they don't want their, you know, ads on videos where, you know, uh, Jews get blamed for, uh, you know, the Holocaust happening. Um, but also they go into how it didn't actually happen. So yeah, okay, yeah. Mm. So basically um, conservatives, very, very mad that big tech does not allow them to be racist and anti-Semitic. Okay, great, um, publicly, all right. Uh, now that's it. Uh, when he was asked about that, he said, look, people can't speak their minds in this country anymore. Okay, yeah, you can. Um, just be prepared for someone to disagree with you. Uh, or for a private company to say, Ooh, no, no, we're, we're going to, we're going to get rid of that. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Um, gone are the days where you can say something offensive and not have people call you out on it, uh, or have your, you know, account get removed. So now uh, you might be saying, well, well, that, well, that's a problem. Oh, well, that's a problem. Why, why does my account get removed? Because it's a private company. It's a private company that doesn't want garbage on their platforms that scares other people away, okay? Uh, at this point, at, at a certain point, you're just, you know, as, as a company, you're taking out the trash, all right? Uh, because people don't want it around, all right? Uh, but again, that's what the right wing misses. They wanna be able to say the N word whenever they want. And, and look, now they can on, on Twitter slash X. Oh, but as a result, 80% of the advertisers are like, no, no, yeah, we're done. <laughs> that's it, see you later. Uh, we're gone. Uh, we're not gonna. We're gonna. Not gonna be around this uh, trash. All right. Um, we, we don't want to be involved in this. Uh, and now Elon Musk is like, no, come back. Come back. I'm gonna sue you, like a spoiled child. Uh, but anyway, Vance. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, one more point on that too. Um, the right wing says, well, it's it's not. You know, look, we can't speak our mind. Well, what do you really want to say? What do you really want to say? Well, well, I want to say the N-word. <laughs> well, okay, um, well, you're going to get a lot of pushback for that. Um, what they really want is to say that and not get any pushback, and that's the real real thing. Uh, now, Vance also stated in this interview, getting back to that, uh, that he wanted to go after the think tanks that influence public policy, implying that they are controlled by tech companies through donations. So, well, hold on here. Um, all right, hey, I'm, I'm not against going after think tanks. Yeah, let's go up to the think tanks. All right, let's start off with the Heritage Foundation. Oh, oh, not that one, though. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> uh, now, the Breitbart interviewer uh, also then uh, asked how Vance was going to convince elected officials to go along with their plan to fight these companies. Here's what Vance's answer was. Quote, we are heading to a place where you have to do what woke corporations want you uh, to do to be able to live a decent life in this country. That's not freedom. And so we have to choose. Do we want freedom? Do we want the American way of life? Or do we want short-term satisfaction for every little thing? I think we're increasingly in a situation where we are gonna choose between one or the other. We're gonna have to get a little uncomfortable 
ooh, on some of these things, or maybe you're going to have to be willing to pay a little bit more for certain consumer goods. We may even have to be willing to attack some of the companies financially that are waging war on the American people. Okay, so uh, first off, um, 2024, we're already paying more for these things, okay? We're already paying way too much. Uh, you know why? Ain't because woke. No, it's because of corporate greed, all right? Uh, companies are using and have used uh, inflation. Oh, inflation. Oh, you got a $2,000 stimmy check as a reason to hike up their prices. Even though, yes, for a short time during the, the pandemic, their input costs did go up. And now those input costs are back down. But the prices aren't. Oh, no. Uh, and so what are they doing? They're, they're making massive profits and claiming, oh, we had to raise our prices. Inflation. Okay. Um, no, no, it's BS. Um, it, it's greedflation is what it is. That's what really happened. Uh, but look, I've got issues with big tech, uh, big companies. Again, it's not because of wokeness or whatever. No, it's because they're screwing us over for bigger and bigger profits. <laughs> okay, that's the reality, right? Uh, but here's J.D. Vance saying, oh, no, 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 it's not because of that. No, 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 no. It's because of the wokeness, and we should give them more profits. That's That'll show them for being woke. Wait, what? So, wait, wait you're, you're, you're going to pay more, right, uh, to show these companies that being woke is bad. What? None of this makes any sense. Uh, and I know what conservatives are trying to do is create an entire so-called anti-woke ecosystem of products. Good luck with that. <laughs> okay. And then boycotting uh, other products that they think are too woke. And, you know, Bud Light, things like that. Um, thing is, though, none of it really makes a whole lot of sense when it comes down to it. Because it's not the, it's not the, the fact that these companies are too woke. In reality... A lot of these same companies do things like rainbow washing, okay? Uh, you know where they're like, oh, you know, we're 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 so um, we're we're so uh, pro LGBTQ, uh, and then behind the scenes, what they're actually doing is giving anti-gay, anti-LGBT, anti-trans um, politicians oodles of cash because they know that those Republicans are going to lower their taxes. They're going to give them special breaks and incentives and things like that because ultimately, at the end of the day, Republicans serve business above all else. Okay, so that's the thing. J.D. Vance and his anti-woke people, his anti-woke crusade uh, on, the, on the right wing has never made any sense. What it really is about is just trying to erase LGBTQ people from public life. Okay, and they also want to be catered to buy these companies just like they used to be. So that was the other thing, right? Remember, all the big demographic that these companies used to pander to all the time was the white working guy. And that's really it. Uh, or, you know, the white housewife, okay? You know, with these products. And so now you have black people with money, you have LGBTQ people with money that are, you know, openly LGBTQ. Uh, because they've always had money. <laughs> what, what was different is they're usually in the closet. Uh, now, they're more open. And, and society itself is more open and welcoming. And that's a good thing. But MAGA chuds will look at it and be like, no, it's not a good thing. Oh, I, I don't like this at all. I'm not being pandered to. I'm being discriminated against. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. It's, you want to feel special, and you don't feel special anymore. And, and that's the issue. So now look, when Vance talks about uh, how Americans are paying too much, yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah, we sure, sure, sure. Uh, but we don't agree on the cause, <laughs> okay? Uh, the cause is not wokeness. No, the cause is corporate greed. And J.D. Vance and Donald Trump and the right wing don't actually want to address the real causes of corporate greed because their donors are the ones that are making money off of it. Uh, and so... They also, through the donations, you want to talk about donations, we're going to talk about people like Peter Thiel, okay, who's bankrolling J.D. Vance. Uh, crypto bros bankrolling J.D. Vance, okay? That's, that's what's really causing prices to go up. Billionaires, giant corporations, 
screwing over the average working class person so they can buy an extra yacht. Okay, so their CEOs can buy an extra yacht, can have an extra penthouse while the rest of us suffer. So he's not going to do anything about that. Most politicians won't because they're also on the take. But J.D. Vance, he might actually talk about or sort of allude to a real problem, but is, you know, uh, who he blames for it. And definitely the solutions are absolutely designed to distract us from actually taking on the real issue. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.